Okay, we have another word problem, and this one was sent in via email. Thank you for sending this problem. And as always, if you have problems you can't solve, send them to solve at midnighttutor.com. So let me read the problem statement as best as I could transcribe it from the email message. Some company is selling widgets, and the X variable de denotes the number sold, and P denotes price, and they've given us this formula, X equals 80,000 divided by the quantity 0.2 P plus 1 times 2, which relates the number sold and the price, right? So obviously as price goes up, at some point they're going to sell fewer units. Wouldn't we all like to have a business where as price goes up you sell more units? But here obviously as P gets bigger, it's in the denominator, it's going to cause the number of units sold to be lower. Now, because they have health care costs that are rising, they have to raise their prices every month. And so every month the price increases by five cents. And the question is, what is the rate that the revenue is changing when the price is $4? And what is the revenue per month at that point? So now it didn't specifically state it in the problem statement, but we have to assume that this number sold X must be number sold per month, right? And so that would then allow us to solve this second question. Otherwise, we would have no way to solve it. So we'll make that assumption. As with all word problems, Following a standard methodology can make the difference between figuring it out and not figuring it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transcribe what's given here into something that is more specific to what we need to solve the problem. What I want to find is I want to find what is given. What are all the facts that we have to work with? I want to f figure out exactly what I'm being asked for as an answer. And then I want to translate that answer into some mathematical expression so I know what I want to end up with ahead of time. So we're given x equals number sold, p is price. We're given this formula, and we're said, asked to find, find first of all, rate revenue is changing. Now as soon as I see the word rate, immediately another beacon should be going off in your head. Boop, boop, boop. Because rate means that we have something with respect to time. So in this case, what is that thing we have with respect to time? Rate that revenue is changing. So we have revenue per time. So find D revenue DT, right? That's what we're asked to find there. We have not defined revenue yet, but we'll get to that. And it says, what is the revenue per month at that point? And then we want to find, right, and this, this rate is at when P is 4. So we're going to say D revenue DT when P equals $4. And I also want to find the revenue at that point, which is just going to be revenue when P equals $4. So now I've, I've identified all the facts and I've translated this into something that I can work with and look for as an answer. So now when I get to the point when I have the revenue DT or revenue, then I can stop, right? There'd be no point to continue to solve the problem beyond the point of getting the answer requested. So how are we going to do this? Well, the first thing you have to know is how do we figure out revenue in a business? Well, revenue is the cost per item times the number of items sold. So revenue is going to be number sold X times the price P, which then if we use this expression for X, and I'm right off the bat, I, this is the way it was sent in with this 2 in the denominator and 80,000. Immediately we can cancel this and say this is 40,000 and get rid of this extra 2. So I'm just going to say this is going to be then P times 40,000 divided by 0.2 P plus 1. So that's an expression for revenue, which I'll call R, to keep life, keep life easy. So now, how do we find dr dt? We're given an expression here that relates R and P. There's no t's here. But we're given other information, right? We're given this thing that price is increasing at $5 per month. Here again, per month, 
time. So I really should have listed this under my given things. That was my bad for not putting that there. But here again, now what is this? This is going to be some kind of derivative. It's a derivative of price, right? This is dp dt. Price is changing per month. So I have a dp dt term, so that, that helps. But still, if I want the rdt, all I have here is r versus p. But we can use the chain rule. dr dt is dr dp times dp dt. This I have. This is what I want, right? This is my first answer. And this I can find by taking the derivative of this thing right here using the quotient rule, I guess. So now we just have to solve it. So I'm going to erase some things here just to give myself more space. So we can say that dr dt is going to be dr dp. Now, how do we take the derivative using quotient rule? We have to do, what is the quotient rule? g f prime minus f g prime over g squared, right? So this is going to be kind of a pain, but nevertheless, it'll give us an answer. So we have here point. 2p plus 1, and the derivative of 40,000p is just 40,000 minus f, so 40,000p times the derivative of this, which is just 0.2, divided by 0.2p plus 1 squared. So that's dr dt. Now we have to, that's dr dp times dp dt. And so then, and we can evaluate this when p equals four dollars. So we have 0 0.2 times four plus one times 40,000 minus 40,000 times four times 0.2 divided by 0 0.2 times 40,000 times four, sorry, plus one squared times dp dt, which is 0.05. Now, I'd have to get out a calculator, which I don't have handy, so you can crunch this number out as well as I can, but this is the answer for dr dt. So we have this equation for the dr dt term, and then I went ahead and calculated it. It turns out to be $617 in change per month. That, that's the change in revenue per month when P equals four dollars. Now the second part of the question is what is the revenue per month at that point? Well that's just going to be our formula for revenue which involves no calculus whatsoever. We just put four dollars in here for P so I'm not even going to do that. You can do that yourself. So hopefully this makes sense to you that the key to this problem is to identify what's given Put it into mathematical terms. If you see things that involve the words like rate, or you see things divided by a unit of measure that is time, then immediately recognize that these are derivatives with respect to time. It will help you to sort of identify what are the things you need to look for, how can you formulate the problem so that you can then come up with the right answer.